what's going on YouTube so I have a pretty big I got like a giant Goodwill bag full of Goodwill outlet goodies and I'm gonna run through them real quick so everything you see if you see a DVD either it's sold for ten dollars free shipping it up or else it has the potential to so a lot of it's just gonna be stuff that I can't tell you about um, I'll tell you what I know. Um, I got New Jersey Drive. Must have been a slightly uncommon DVD. This one I do remember. Um, Ty Tribbett, Tribbett, Victory Live. That was a pretty good one that I remember. It was like, I don't know. I just remember it was su surprising. We got Santa Bears High Flying Adventure. And uh, if you guys stick around to the end, the best is definitely at the end. Uh, always kid stuff and sing along stuff. Why is there priority mail on top? I don't get it. Is this from the postal service? Um, VHS is like if you find the right ones, you just gotta check them out. Uh, vintage stuff like this. Uh, kids sing alongs and kids shows and uh, just old looking movies are the best. And the uh, probably the most expensive ones you can find are horror movies. I think Friday the 13th is like a $30 VHS. Um, got a empty case. Because I always need them. So, I mean, I'm technically paying like a quarter or less for it. So, you can't go wrong there. I think I got this at next door at the Goodwill. Or, there's a Goodwill store right near, or outlet, like right next door. And I think I paid two bucks for that, or three bucks. But the Nickelodeon things are usually a really good deal. This is cool. It's a uh, nice. I didn't know how to open that. I kept trying to click this, but you literally just flip it open this way. You can turn the screen. You can flip it around even somehow, which is cool. So that's neat. That's like twenty bucks right there. Or I could just keep it for stuff and things. Probably won't though, because why would I ever use it? This never sold, but it's sealed, so why not? My method on stuff is I will buy as much as I can for cheap and just hope it sells. I'll take up space, I don't care. I'll sacrifice, like I have enough room I feel to post everything I need. Here's a banger. Arthur's Perfect Christmas. This was a decent one, I think. I need to make sure. Oh, shoot. Crap. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, there's my, like, beat up wall and stuff. Um, I'm just going to keep rolling because I don't feel like starting over. I had my tripod sitting up way high. I'm still not used to using it. Um, crap. Got Timbalina, Thumbelina. I got so many VHS, I didn't think I had all these. Trust me, it's not all VHS. A lot of it is movies though, not gonna lie, but there's some really good DVDs if, or games. If you wanna skip ahead, I don't care, but if you stay w watching this, you'll get a good idea of what to, um, what to look for DVD-wise. And I only paid $27 for all this, by the way. This dog's one was sellable at like $10, I remember. Gosh dang it. I am not, I keep hitting my tripod. It's not going well for me. I'm just gonna move it a little forwards. It's just so uneven. I got the breakfast club and I might be a little clumsy. It's sealed. I don't think it ever sold, but if it's sealed, I could probably get some money out of it. Uh, I think this sold for like 10 bucks. It's the fat filter. I just pick up random sealed stuff. Riddle of the Sphinx. I don't even remember this. I think it sold for something. It's like some PC game. Um, this is a sealed double set. Raising Arizona and Fargo. Thumbelina again. My friend just sent me something on Facebook. I don't know what he's doing. Um, oh yeah. I got this for my friend. His name's Zach. If not, I'll sell it. I think it sold for nine dollars, ten dollars. He likes Power Rangers too, but he's too young to know the um whatever 
the old Power Rangers. Uh, the Elephant Man. I have no idea on that one. There's some cool ones in here I want to show you. I think this is one of them. No, this isn't. Is it? It's a Christmas favorites. I don't usually pick up CDs, but... Alright, this one right here. I don't know... Um, if you guys want to look it up, you can. I know the Barbie Horse Adventures for the Wii is like a 20 $25 game. I think this was like a $25-$30 game for the PC. So that was really neat. I, I usually just kind of try to learn as much as I can. Got a calculator, maybe I'll get 10 bucks for it, free shipping, so like 5 bucks. I'm almost out of this bag, guys, so if you made it this far, we're almost to the games. Uh, Sesame Street Toddler. Little Giants. I, every time I see this, it's worth a little bit. The VHS version, the DVD, and all that. Flight of the Phoenix. We got Half-Life. I've never seen that one. I don't know exactly how much it's worth. I don't think it's worth a ton, because I don't remember. Oh, here we have some cool stuff in here, actually. Uh, Air to Stories. I've never seen this one before, but I think it's sellable. Jeopardy is always a good one. I think I can get 15 bucks for Jeopardy for PC. <clears throat> so it's always a good one to see. I think Wheel of Fortune is the same way. I don't know why I got this. It must have been sellable. Haunted House 2 game pack. Um, got some old 90s rap. Gangsta. And then I got Baby Songs. Animals. I don't know why I got that. It must have been worth something. I got some pretty cool cassettes. There's one in here that's really neat. Mariah Carey. Looking young. Uh, let's see what else we got. Math Blaster. Math Master. This is a good one, actually. I can't remember. I think it went for like 10 or plus. Porky Pig. Looking cool. We're going back to Good Wildland, by the way, so... I'll be making uh, Homeward Bound, um, good movie, from what I remember, and it's sealed. We're going to be going back tomorrow, so hopefully I get some more good stuff. I love buying, um, sweet, I just sold something. Um, I love buying a lot of stuff like this that, I have $27 in all this, guys, like, this is how you shop. You don't <laughs> go around buying, exp I mean, I do, I buy expensive stuff too, but I feel so more more fulfilled. Even though it takes forever to sell, it does sell eventually. Big Band Christmas. It's a CD set. I don't know if that what that sold for. Oh, cool! I forgot this toy I had in here. Uh, Barney's Musical Castle. I used to love Barney. Um, Scooby Doo, Mystery Fun Park Phantom. While we're looking at stuff, I'm going to tell you a story about the last time I went to Goodwill Outlet. I think I told this in the other, in another video. MC Hammer, please hammer, don't hurt him. I uh, Somebody found a bunch of Pokemon cards. This is a double. Uh, one of the employees came out of the back with Pokemon cards. My friend said something, and he went up front and um, calculated. They took it to an employee that worked there. Like Basically what happened was... Uh, they had a bin in the back, and the guys were, like, looking through, finding Pokemon cards, because some guy told them to hold them for him. So one of the employees took home all the Pokemon cards out of a bin, except for, like, three that I found. And it sucked. I was so mad. I should... It's so wrong. I got three, and, like, when he, the dude that took them home was the cashier I went up to. He looked through the ones I got, like, crap, and I missed some. Like, yeah, I got some, at least. Uh, I got, like, a Shredder guy. Which is cool. He's from 88. He's worth about 10 bucks, maybe. Alright, so that's pretty much all of it except for the good stuff. This is the cool one right here. Um, Michael Jackson, Remember the Time. I think that one's like 20 bucks. And then this one is Joan Jett and the Black Hearts. I love rock and roll. Which is cool. It has Wayne's World on the front. Alright, so on to the games. Reminder, oh, a couple more things in here. I got this Beanie Baby. It's kind of, um, kind of open, but not really. But if I get $10 out of it, that's cool. I got, uh, My Little Pony looking crazy. <laughs> I 
must have been worth something, or, or else I just grabbed it, because whatever. Uh, this Barbie, th I got a Barbie in my hands right now, and it is from 1975 or 8. Looks like 1970, 1970 something. Blah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, got this dinosaur guy. I always pick up little dinosaurs. So usually try to get uh hello my darling hello <laughs> nah i usually try to pick up um the older dinosaurs from the 90s but i don't think this one is it but i think i found two of them if i'm correct oh this one's sweet got the battle damage t-rex yeah so two of those should sell pretty good and let me see i think i got one more thing Oh, no, it's just the games now. Okay. So this is a staple that you find at um, a good wildlet. Like, you always find this game. The condition, I remember being pretty good. If I had to say, I'd say, like, upper, um, almost very good condition. So that's great. Um, This one's a banger right here. For lack of a better word. Uh, it's like a $40 Wii game. Muramasa, the Demon Blade. And this one's not too shabby. It's uh, like a $15 Avatar game. And then probably just this, I mean, one of the best Wii games there are. It's like a $20, $25 game. And then we got Wii Fit Plus. And really, it's a clean case. I mean, it's a heavy game, yeah. But it's like, it's clean and disc is very good. All these discs are great, like the cases and everything. So when you go to places like Columbus, where I went for this outlet, um, it's a lot different than like a smaller town like Zanesville. The quality of stuff is usually higher. If people are going to donate stuff worth money, you know it's going to be good quality. We got Red Sparrow for, for the DVD player. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. But. 10 minute solution. I thought I said 10 minute stallion. That would have been a way create, more creative title. It's sealed. And that is it. I'm not going to bore you with any more stuff. Although, I'll just tell you one story real quick. I went to Goodwill where I got that Pokemon score. If you guys seen that video, if not, check it out in my... Uh, Check it out in my channel, on my channel. Um, the the guy that runs the Goodwill is my uh, friend from high school. I, was, I played football with him. It's the first time I talked to him in a long time since he's worked there. It's usually like he stays his distance. Um, I was like, he's like, oh, so you probably made bank off all those cards because he knows I got all the magic in Pokemon. And I was like, yeah, <clears throat> I sold all the magic, but I kept the Pokemon. He kept trying to fish for information, like. How do I tell which magic cards are worth money? And I was like, uh... Um... Basically gave him the thing, like... I don't know. I didn't tell him I didn't know, but I was like, dude, there's really no way to tell, because it's kind of true, like... Yeah, you can tell if they're mythics and stuff, but, um... You really gotta look them up, because some mythics are, like, 50 cents, so... Obviously, I don't want to give this guy information, because he'll price everything up <clears throat> if i wouldn't have um bought all the pokemon cards i probably could have got all the magic stuff for like 150 200 and then got 550 from it cash no fees or anything so i'm not he's like wanting information like dude i'm not gonna tell you like cool you're a cool guy and it's all good but i was not gonna give him information <laughs> regarding like pricing stuff up and how to find out how much stuff's worth because I mean getting no scores if I tell you all that bud just how she is anyways that's about it uh that's crazy crazy haul if you th think even if I make like three dollars off every item it's like three hundred well like 150 but obviously just off the games alone like, let me see fifth 
or 20, um, 35, 55, uh, 65, 65 plus 20, we'll just say 15 so I can make it 80. I got 80 bucks right there just off the game, so that's already uh, like quadruple my money. And everything else is just icing on the cake. And that's why Google Outlet's, Outlet's nice. Yeah, um, it's not very good if you're looking for a specific thing. Like, if I was just looking for video games, I probably wouldn't go there. Because um, you're not going to find video games every time. I haven't found any good video games in a long time. A crazy story is one time some guy found a sealed Game Boy, original Game Boy, and sold it for $2,000 because somebody was going to get it graded. So you just never know. You could find nothing. You could find $1,000, $2,000 worth of stuff. So you can't say it's bad. I, some people, like some guy I watch on YouTube, I follow his videos. He said ours is like garbage, basically. And he might be true compared to saying it's garbage compared to other good outlets. But every time I watch his videos, I find way more than him. So I don't know. He must have had a bad experience or... Whatever. Anyways, thanks guys for watching this video. Hope you learned something. Check out all kinds of media. Check out vinyls, DVDs, VHS, everything. If you can get it for cheap, check it out. Look it up because there's a lot of stuff that's worth money and nobody knows about. What is on my phone? Mm. It's like a piece of my phone. So yeah, this is uh, this is it. So you guys have a great day. Thanks and peace.